chance. Really? Not a chance. Ah, oh, absolutely not. Well, you don't regret walking out? Not at all. Okay. I'm so glad I did. Mm. So glad. So yesterday you voted to do a record break in seventh trial in a row. Uh, and that was what seemed to be the, the trigger. That's what seemed to trigger your decision to leave. We'll come on to the actual reasons why yeah, you yeah. left a little bit later. But just to start off, how difficult was it for you to have to face a trial every day? Well, I half expected it and half not. I knew I'd get some. I didn't think every single day. Uh -huh. um, and it's... You know, like I kept saying to everyone, and I'm not as strong as I was years ago. And I was literally petrified, I was scared. You know, every time I come onto the trial, I'd be like, I just don't want to do this, you know. Um, but I'd still do it because I wouldn't want to let the team down. Um, so I managed to d get through it, and I kept saying to them after the last one, I just really can't do anymore. Yeah. And I kept saying, if I get voted tomorrow, which I know I will, I just don't want to do it. And I even went in the Telegraph hut and said, look, if I get voted, I'm not going to do it. And mm. I said, and everyone else will come in here and they will agree and someone else can do it. I said, you know, I'm a human being and I can take so much torture. And I just, it was just draining. Look, I've got cold sores on my lips. I came out looking a mess. Yeah. <laughs> what are you wear? You don't, you don't look a mess now. Well, don't worry about why did they keep voting for you? Do, do you have I've, any clue? I have no idea. Um, maybe some people wanted to see me suffer. Maybe some people just wanted to see me. I know I spoke to my mum and my dad and they were like, you were doing so well, we're so proud of you. Yeah. And don't think people voted you because they hated you. Um, but whatever the reason, I still had to do it and it wasn't nice. I don't want to see another bug again. <laughs> don't worry, I don't think you will. Now you left, you've left the jungle before the public had a chance to keep you in there. Yeah. Were you scared of, of the public voting you out? So Not at all. Was. Obviously, people are going to say that. And, you know, the media backlash I have anyway, you know, it's always up and down. I'm not really bothered what the media say. They mm -hmm. can say what they like. They can say, oh, she wouldn't have been able to handle getting voted out first. Or, uh -huh. you know, I'm, I'm, I was in there for a different reason for everybody else. You know, to them, it's a game. You know, of course they want to win. I wasn't in it to win it. And it wasn't all about the money. Um, you say you said you'd been perceived as the bad guy before you went in to, to, the, to the jungle. Do you, yeah. think, do you think you've done anything to change people's mind? Well, to be honest, because of the time difference, I still don't really know what's been going on at home. Mm -hmm. um, all I know is just obviously my friends, and they're going to be biased and say you did really well. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I did try my best. I generally really, really did. And that's, that's all I can do. I acted myself, and, you know, that, that's all I can do, really. How tough was it going back to the place where it all began with Peter? It was so, so tough. Was it? Because um, I thought, you know, I've been so strong for the seven months, and I thought, you know, because we met there... And I thought to close everything, it, it, I got, the op got given the opportunity to go back there mm. to a place where it all happened. So I wanted closure. And some people might say, why do you have to do closure in front of millions? Well, I'm sorry, but that's where I met my husband. And that's the place, if I had an opportunity, I went back. So I thought I'd leave a walking camp, break down. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I was strong. But every night, you know, I'd, I was on the same bed, which is ironic. And, you know, I'd wake up in the morning, look over and expect to see Pete. And it was like all these good memories, and then I'd click in my head and go, but all their memories are gone now. It's yeah. sad. It was obvious that it brought back a lot, a lot oh, of memories from no. the memory. And just have a look at this. Oh, no. <laughs> I think they mentioned you met your husband there. Yeah. I Sorry. had got a husband out of it. I had two kids from it. It's a whole different thing. That's and now I'm divorced, all in six years. So, so it must... I've come back. It's like a closure. And it's weird that I'm on the same bed again. And Pete, he was up there. So it's really weird. It must have been very odd to be back there and all those memories and was it tougher than you thought going back to the first place where you met Peter? It was a lot tougher because I thought, you know, I'd come all this way and um, I thought I was really strong and I know that if I'd stayed in there any longer it, it was just getting more torture because I'd closed it. Yeah. Um, is that why you left then? One, one of the main reasons, yeah. I is just it? thought if I carried on staying in there, I, I don't know what would have happened. Not because I've got feelings for Pete, but obviously there's absolutely amazing memories in there. And I mm. had It's a big Pete. part of your life. Yeah. Absolutely. And like with my children, you know, although I've been away a week before away from, but I'm able to see them on Skype or talk to them. Mm. I had no contact with yeah. them, which I knew, but I found it really, really hard. And it made me realise, you know, I don't need to win this. It's not about that. I need to get out of here. And plus doing the trials, you know, it's just... You know, I'm a human being and you can only take so much beating, but being in there absolutely made me reflect on my past. Yeah. You know, the past seven months it made me realise I probably did act a right fool, behave in the way I did. And I'll tell you what, I've come out here as a new person and I'm just going to have a fresh start. I've reflected really good. I'm, it's done me so many favours in there. Good. And I hold my hands up and the past seven months I have acted like a right twit and... 
but that was the way I dealt with things, and I'm yeah. sorry if I upset people. So it's a fresh start now? Absolutely. Now, I want you to be honest with me. Did yeah. you ever intend to stay for the duration, or was this a game plan? Did you ever go in there thinking, I'll stay for a few days and then I'll get out of there? Nobody can have a game plan at all. Um, well, if they think they can, you know, to last the whole duration, you can't because you just can't. Um, no, I wanted to stay to the end, but I found it emotionally really, really hard. Um, probably, yeah, because of the Pete memories in there, because they were such happy. You know, wherever I went, it was Pete, 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 uh -huh. Pete. And I didn't want to be in there about Pete. I just wanted the closure. And there are just so many happy memories in there. And then when I see Stuart and Sabrina sort of flirting, I'm thinking, yeah. oh, I don't want to see this but, because but it not... hurts. Because yeah. I know that happened to me and yeah. I just, just didn't want to be there. Now, you knew that your partner Alex was flying out today. and We've all seen the stories in the papers. So can you understand why people might think you'd, have, you'd planned this in advance? Um, well, that's another thing. I've done a lot of reflecting. I think it's best that um, I'm on my own. I just, I just don't want to be in a relationship. Yeah, I just realised I want to be on my own. I don't okay. want a relationship. Um, as I of... hope we can remain friends as of I came out. Okay. So, yeah. so, so no more. So you and Alex are split now? I'm not with him, no. Okay. okay. And and I know people think harsh, but, you know, lots of things have happened since I've come out. Um, I've done lots of thinking in there. Lots of things shouldn't have happened while I was in there, and they have. And it's just made me think, you know, at the end of the day, I can't live my life by everyone else. Yeah. I have to think of me and my children. And I am so much happier person. Good. Okay. Well, well, you've listen... had to do all the trials. You've had a tough time in there being voted for by the public, but it seems like it's done you some good. <laughs> but, Liam, on the Thanks, trials, Katie. I know you have to go, but didn't you see me suffer every day? Yes, I said, yes I we, did. we did. But thank you for coming, and thank, thank you for coming you. back to speak to us. Thank, and thank you. you for being thank honest. Very much. Well, we're about to head into camp to reveal who will be the first celebrity to leave. But first time for last night's dinner, and with the vote off Lumen, there was only one thing on their minds. It is our last supper together.